Dear students, now we are going to discuss instruction set of 8086 microprocessor and its types. The 8086 microprocessor has approximately 117 different instructions for its assembly language program. These instructions can be divided into different groups based on its operation. These groups are data transfer instructions group, arithmetic instructions, logical instructions, string instructions, program control transfer instructions, processor control instructions, iteration control instructions, interrupt instructions, and external hardware synchronization instructions. Let's discuss each type here. Data transfer instructions are used to transfer the data from source to destination. Here the source can be a immediate data, register, memory address. The destination should be a register or memory locations. Okay. So here we can have the different types of transfer instructions. That instructions to transfer a byte or word. Example, move instruction. So here this move instruction is used to transfer a byte or word from the given source to the given destination address okay so next one is push pop instruction so these instructions are mainly used in stack segment registers okay so whenever we want to transfer the data into stack segment register we can use push pop means we can take the data from the stack register is that okay so next one is load effective address instruction so here we are going to use lea that is load effective address into the particular location okay into the particular address okay that is what lea so next one is load ds that means load data segment register load es means load the extra segment effective register okay so the next one is string data transfer instructions. So these instructions are mainly used to, to transfer the string data type. That is move S, move SB, move SW, load. Okay, load that string data address. So here load S, load SP, load SW. So next one is in out instructions. So these instructions are used to connect input and output port. If you want to transfer the data between input and output, we can use this in-out instructions. So next one is exchange instruction. So here we can exchange the data between two registers or the segment registers. Okay. And the last one is to transfer flag registers. So we can update the status of the flag register by using this instructions that is LAHF that is load AH with the low byte of flag register. So we can update any registers using this transfer flag register instruction. Similarly, we can have SAHF that means store AH with that flag register. Next, push F that means we can send the data to this flag register. Pop F means we can get the data from this flag register okay so this are the data transfer instructions okay so we can discuss this data transfer instruction as a separate video in detail with an example okay next one is arithmetic instructions these instructions are used to perform arithmetic operations like addition subtraction multiplication division etc so here addition related instructions are given as Add that is ADD. It represents the addition of the given data with the accumulator value and store the result in that accumulator itself. That is A register. Okay. So next one is ADC. That is addition with carry. So here we have to include that carry also for its addition. So next one is increment. That is INC represents what? Increment. That means add the given data by one okay so the next one is subtraction related instructions so here sub represents the subtraction sbb means 
subtraction with borrow decrement that is dec it can subtract one value from the given data do you all understand the next one is multiplication related instructions one is mul that is mul it represents unsigned multiplication process the next one is i m u l that is i m l it represents signed multiplication process so in this multiplication simply we can multiply the given operand value okay so we do not bother about that sign but in this i m l we have to consider that sign value also next one is division related instructions d i v represents unsigned division i d i v represents signed division okay b c d arithmetic instructions as we know that b c d addition and subtraction is entirely different from normal addition and subtraction so here for this b c d arithmetic we can have a separate instruction called d a a that is decimal adjust after addition next one is d a s that is decimal adjust after subtraction okay ascii arithmetic instructions in this ascii arithmetic the ascii numbers can be represented from 30 h to 39 h for the number 0 to 9 so we can use a separate instructions for this ascii arithmetic instructions so here a a a that is ascii adjust after addition a a s means ascii adjust after subtraction a a m means ascii adjust after multiplication and a a d means ascii adjust after division so by using this instructions we can make sure that the given result is a legal ascii numbers okay so the next one is compare instruction so compare instruction is mainly used to compare the given data okay so next one is complement instruction that is represented as neg that is negate each bit if one is given means it is complemented as zero zero is given means complemented as one these all are the arithmetic instructions used in 8086 microprocessor next one is logical instructions these instructions can also be called as bit manipulation instruction these instructions are used to perform logical operations like and or not exr shift rotate etc let's see one by one here instructions to perform logical operation are not and or exr test okay so here not means to invert each bit of a byte or word given in that instruction okay and means to perform logical multiplication operation or means logical addition exr means exclusive or operation and the final one is test that is similar to and operation the only difference is the flags are getting affected not the accumulator value that is the difference between this and and test okay so in this and we can get that result a is equal to a and with this b okay this result is stored in this a register but here in this test that register is not getting affected only the flags are getting affected for testing purpose okay so next one is shift related instructions that is s a l r s h l that means to shift each bit to the left side and zero is stored at that least significant bit that is very important okay so in this normal shl we are simply going to shift each bit to the left side okay and put zero in that lsb so next one is shr to shift each bit to the right side and put s at msp that is most significant bit so next sar that is to shift bits towards the right side and copy the old msb into the new msb so that is the difference between these two okay so you can remember this here it is simply going to shift the register but here we are going to make it as a old msb value into that new msb value okay rotation related instructions the first one is 
R O L that is rotate left it rotates the bits of the given register towards the left side so that is given in this diagram so we can start from this lsp b0 to b1 b1 to b2 b2 to b3 likewise so here in this side that msb is given to this lsp that's what given here msb to lsb here we do not bother about this carry flag so next one is rotate right that is to rotate the bits towards the right side so here we can rotate the bits from b7 to b6 b6 to b5 b4 and then b4 to b3 b3 to b2 b1 b0 okay so here that lsb is given to this msb that's what given here in ror that is rotate right we can give that msb value as a lsb value that is lsb to msb so the next one is rcl rotate left with carry in this previous one we are not taking this carry path for this rotation operation but in this rcl we have to consider the carry flag also okay so here we can rotate along with this carry flag so msb to carry flag and then carry flag to this lsb and then b0 to b1 b1 to b2 towards left hand side so the next one is rcr that is rotate right with carry the same procedure here here we can rotate the each bits towards right side b7 to b6 5 4 3 2 1 and b0 b0 is given to this carry flag this carry flag is given to this msb okay this all are the rotation related instructions used in 8086 the next one is program execution control instructions these instructions are used to transfer the instructions during an execution of the processor that means the processor is executing its main program if you want to execute a procedure in between that main program we can stop that main program and call that new program using this program execution control instruction there are two types of instructions available one is instructions without condition the next one is instructions with condition so in this instructions without conditions we can have call instruction return instruction and jump instruction the call instruction is used to call a procedure and save the return address to the stack pointer so it stops the main program execution and transfers the control to that new location where we are having that procedure okay it is a set of instructions okay ret that is a written address so here it is used to return from the procedure to that main program of that microprocessor the next one is jump this is without any condition we can simply jump to the given address from the main program okay so that is what that instruction without condition so the next one is instructions with condition instructions with condition we are going to check the condition if the condition is satisfied then the program execution is transferred to the given location given address okay so there are different types of conditions available one is jc that means jump on carry so it is going to jump to the new given address if the carry flag is set to one next one is jump on no carry if the carry flag is equal to zero we can jump to the given memory address so similarly we can have jump on zero that means if zero flag is one then it jumps to the given location in this instruction j is it jump on no zero that means if the zero flag is zero then the condition is transferred to the given new location j o that means jump if overflow flag is equal to one j n o means jump if overflow flag is equal to zero j s here s represents sign flag if it is set then the program execution is transferred to the new location given in this instruction so next jns 
jump on sign flag is zero so similarly we can have jp that is jump if parity flag is equal to one so this all are the program execution control instructions okay next one is processor control instructions these instructions are used to control the processor by changing the values of the flag register here stc that is set carry flag st means set okay cl means clear the carry flag c represents the carry flag cmc cm represents complement okay so complement the carry flag similarly we can have set direction flag clear the direction flag set the interrupt flag clear the interrupt flag okay next one is interrupt instructions these instructions are used to call the interrupt during program execution like int that is used to interrupt the program that is main program running in that microprocessor into used to interrupt the program if overflow flag is equal to 1 IRET that is interrupt return used to return from interrupt service to the main program. Last one is iteration control instructions. These instructions are used to execute the given instructions for number of times. Here the given set of instructions can be repeated for a given number of times. That instructions are loop used to loop a group of instructions loop is it. Used to loop a group of instructions till it satisfies 0 flag is equal to 1. Similarly, we can have loop NZ. NZ means non-zero condition. So, used to loop a group of instructions till it satisfies 0 flag is equal to 0.